Hi, I'm Emily Ernst. I'm a junior at Bronick High School. My project is The Power of Tides, the relationship between tides and intercultural. My project asks the question, will water quality levels be impacted by tide, tidal phases in a coastal area? Intercultural is a bacteria that is often found in animal feces and is used by scientists as a measure of poor water quality. High intercultural colony counts are associated with polluted waters that can cause sickness, such as disease to the skin, eyes, ears, and respiratory tract. This project explores how tidal phases alter the water quality on coastal inlets and therefore cause health risks for swimmers. While environmental officials often warn people of the health risks associated with swimming in local waterways after rain events, as rain events can wash pollutants and sewage into waterways, officials do not offer Similar health warnings regarding relationships between water quality and tidal phases. By comparing the relationship of tidal phases to intercultural levels, individuals can better understand trends of intercultural in order to know when it is safe to swim. This study makes use of data from the Jupiter Inlet in Palm Beach, Florida, a popular inlet where beachgoers swim, fish, and snorkel. I made the hypothesis that the intercultural contamination of coastal inlets was the greatest during outgoing and low tides, and lowest during incoming and high tides. I also predicted that during incoming tides, intercultural contamination will decrease over time until reaching its lowest level at high tide. And at outgoing tide, the intercultural contamination will increase over time, reaching the highest level at low tide. Both hypotheses are based on the assumption that the flow of new water from the ocean is not yet contaminated by runoff from the land. I access Lakahatchee River District Wild Pine Laboratory for water quality data of 272 samples from 2014 to 2019. I access NOAA for tidal data to determine the tidal conditions of each sample. I use STATA to conduct data analysis. I found that during outgoing tide, the intercultural levels are significantly higher, reaching an average of 107 colony count per 100 millimeters of water a level higher than the EPA's cutoff for safe swimming conditions. EPA recommends against swimming when intercultural levels are equal or greater than 104 colonies per 100 millimeters of water. During incoming tide, the intercultural count averages 35 colony count per 100 millimeters of water, well lower than the EPA limit. I also found the predicted drop in intercultural during incoming tide and an increase as time progresses in outgoing tides. On average, water was unsafe to swim in the third to fifth hours of an outgoing tide. This study suggests that it might be beneficial for coastal managers to issue water quality warnings during outgoing tides. Further studies should be replicated and determine, to determine if similar findings will be found in other coastal areas.